In fashion first news, submitted by Brandon Choi. Hey, that's me. Oh, happy choice. You know why? Because he looks up a lot of these articles, so he should she should get up. How about a round of, a round of applause? applause. Don't, don't do that. I like to shout out Reddit. That's where I find most of my articles. ASOS baffles people with faux wireless headphones sold as fashion accessories. So I'm just going to show you guys because I think the picture says a lot of this. Wait, 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 what? You said who did what? <laughs> Brand called ASOS uh, baffles people with fake wireless headphones sold as fashion accessories. So you know AirPods, right? Yeah. Well, imagine if they well didn't do anything. <laughs> wow, they really are fashion statements. Yeah, they're, just, they're literally just, and they, they just go in your ears right there. Yeah, and they're, they're supposed to look like AirPods. Reminds me of like this high school thing where like people would have the, the the earbuds for an iPhone, but it was just plugged into nothing. Really? Yeah. That was a thing? It's like a fashion scene. Wow. I never, I never I thought had... I got the money for an iPhone or like, you know. An iPod or whatever. I thought that was, like, thought that was people trying to be antisocial. Yeah. Like yeah. they didn't yeah. want to talk to people. It could be interpreted as that too. Because I've never, I've never seen that, at least in, at my high school. I feel like everyone that had headphones in was like listening to something. I can yeah. see that with my sister though, because my sister is one of those new age mm -hmm. kids now who's like, I mean, it's a golf wing or whatever. And I'm like, oh. Wait, what? <laughs> no, because look. I like how you what? use that. Shout golf out to way. Tyler. Tyler Crater, which by the way, um, I shot a music video with him back in high school really? before I knew who the kid was. Really? I was like, this kid's weird or whatever. <laughs> Well, Years I mean, later, you're not, you're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, that's true. You're not Years wrong. Weird. Here's weird. Um, yeah, yeah, Casey Veggies. It's all good. Like, real, like back in 2008 or whatever, mm -hmm. I did this yeah. first music video, and wow. then he was in it. But I was like, yeah, she went to some concert or whatever, and like, she got some sweater because she was cold, and like, there was one that was like regular price, and there was one that was like, oh, there's golf. I gotta get that to cop golf. Mm -hmm. I feel like she'd be the same person who would buy right one to wear one of these. Yeah, just well, for the fashion statement. A lot of the people here are bringing up the fact that it's like. Yeah, I mean, you could also just get knockoff Air because there's so many companies that are making yeah. knockoff AirPods now. You could yeah. just get them and put it's them. It's like ears. you knew I had these in oh, my right. pocket. Yeah. Whoa, how'd you get black ones? Are those real? They, no, these are not real because okay. Apple does not make black AirPods <laughs> for some stupid reason. Oh. So China, aesthetic. China got me these. Thanks, China. <laughs> Thank you, China. Fuck, that might be a little weird given the current political. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, still, fuck China. Fuck China. Oh, I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, yeah. But um, couldn't you also get like a skin for like regular white AirPods yeah, yeah. too? But that's expensive as fuck. How much? How much is? This? These oh, are sixty dollars. Oh, we're talking about the air, the the fake air, or the real yeah. AirPods, and then skin. yeah, the real ones, and you yeah, can skin yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. How much did the real ones actually cost? They're two hundred dollars. Oh. They're like one eighty, yeah. and then if you wanted to get them black, you would have to get either you have to get a custom or oh, yeah. get them custom done. Yeah, yeah. Wow. They're official guys. Damn, y'all are crazy. Like they connect. Oh, by the way, if you guys want these, they're called Black Pods. Um, not sponsored, by the way. But <laughs> not sponsored. Yeah, I totally found this through. Uh, what's that guy? Unbox Therapy. Oh yeah, Unbox Therapy. That guy. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. They, I mean, they don't sound as good, but you know, they work. Do AirPods really sound like that amazing? Like, does anybody have AirPods? Uh, I don't have any. Yeah. I mean, they're okay for like wireless. Yeah, that's you know? what I feel like. But they don't even like completely like seal in your ears, no, right? You're gonna te be oh, Team Apple soon, though. That's true. I might get. Oh, that's right. I, I forgot. Might, he's I, might, switching. I, might, I might get an iPhone right. 11 Pro. That's right. Uh, Going to no, the dark side, huh, Ryan? Well, well look. No, but everyone's, yeah. everyone's always telling me and Julia, be like, oh, it's, you know, you don't, you know, having problems because you fucking Android or whatever. And I'm like, well, okay, fine then. I'm gonna get the nicest iPhone that's currently. So you guys can finally shut the fuck up. Like, and so if I hate it, I can say definitively, I fucking hate it. <laughs> Let's be honest. Most people, that's gonna be like three years. The fact that we call it AirPods and not wireless headphones that's speaks. True. You know, you know. I do have a pair of wireless, like just Bluetooth earbuds, but I'm not, I'm not paying two hundred dollars for AirPods. We like, sorry. <laughs> I'll be honest, people only say that to you two because you screw up our group messages. Oh, yeah, yeah I, like I get you it. Like, I get you make everything green. Well, Joke's we're, on you. We're we're I don't get included here. in any group messages, so <laughs> or I don't get to mess anything up. <laughs> we're outnumbered here, Antoine. Yeah. Oh, okay, so with, with those, it's an accessory? Yeah, it's just an accessory. Okay, yeah. well, I mean, I could, I could kind of see it kind of working for people who don't want to pierce their ears. And they still kind of want to like look cool on their. I, I, no, I would only get it. It's weird. No, as far as I can tell, it's just the one design. It's like that silver kind of like fits in your ear canal. Let me see it. Let me see again. Let me see it. Thing. It's kind of. It's like gross. that. Oh, dude, that's gross looking. Yeah, it's. I don't like. Why does it have like the extra like, like long spindles out thing right there? Yeah, yeah and it's got a little. It's got a little hole in it that you could maybe put something through. I don't know yeah. why. But it looks like a a, a, a removable shower head. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder, so is that prong removable? Like, is that is that like a loophole? That way they could basically make AirPods without making AirPods. If you pay another $4.99, it might. Guess how much they cost. Guess how much they cost, guys. Oh, God. It's, 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 actually, it's actually not that insane. Less than 50, it's a, like a Supreme type of thing where it's like, hey, you want to buy this brick? Didn't Gina buy the brick? Because it's like a, it's like a fashion statement thing. It's like a, it's like a, I go for 25. They're made out of zinc, by the way. 
What does that mean? I don't know it's a cheap. Tell us, Ryan. It's not like it's it's not like gold or anything. Yeah, What is zinc commonly used in common items? I don't know. It's it's used a lot in like cheap metals. It's used to mix it. It's like a mix and additive. What price did you say, Julia? I said twenty five. I'm gonna go twenty six. I'm gonna say fifty. That's what I did to her yesterday. It's like it says. I think this is a British company because it says five pounds, five or six pounds. Oh, that's okay. So that makes it a little bit better. I mean, it's still ugly as fuck. Yeah, I mean, I buy like three of them then. Because I'd rather like I don't know. Those things are heavy, dude. Buy literally anything else. What, zinc? Insane. No, it's five pounds in your ears. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Pun man over here. I kept the camera. <laughs> Sean's face with the fucking uh, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm song. <laughs> 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 But yeah, I mean, is there any other? Is are there any fashion accessories or anything like that that you guys like have that. bought in hindsight and we're like, that was dumb. Like I don't, know, I don't know why I bought one of those. Oh, I did. Uh, when the OC was out, Ryan, whatever his name, the main character out there, he always the OC, wore but... these bracers, right? Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, that's was what it, makes was it like a cool? metal bracelet or was it a? You could get a metal, but the one I had was just a leather one, leather one, oh. and then you had like you know the little buds on the back. So I thought that was like the coolest thing oh. ever. Oh, and I, I was like, this about. is stupid. Why am I wearing you this? You look like a gladiator. Yeah, yeah, this look like a gladiator. Yeah. Or like a Wonder Woman or some shit right, like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had a watch that had that same design, the little letter That's thing. That's a little different. And then I had another one. I was like, oh, I can oh. match it with another one. So I had like two. <laughs> I so I hoping you had like two watches. Little by little, you are becoming Wonder Woman. You're like, hey, you know what? There's a tiara I can put on this too. <laughs> oh, this is dope. Yeah. Metal skirt. That like, looks yo, great. Corsets are fucking in right now. <laughs> hey, yo, what about this lasso though? What's up? <laughs> Yo, I, yeah. I would be terrified though if I saw some dude walking down the street in a corset with bracers on with a lasso. I'd be like, I'm gonna avoid that guy. <laughs> Sounds like you need to go to more cons. That's true. Yeah. No, I have been to. But what if it's like all of those things, but it's not Wonder Woman stuff? So it's just like straight up a corset, just straight up a lasso. It just looks like a homeless person. <laughs> Another day in LA. That's why. Yeah, you know. here it's just like hmm, sounds sounds form fitting and. Shapely. <laughs> All right, well, what's the material? I can see it like in black leather. I wouldn't question it. All right, you know, if they go with hide, now actually hide still makes sense to me because they'd be going like a Renaissance fair. See, I like you make costumes though. Like Devin, Devin <laughs> make Devin enjoys making costumes, so he knows he knows a fair amount about about materials <laughs> and the properties of those materials. Julie, were you yeah. into chokers? Was chokers ever a thing for you? Oh God, I could never do chokers. Uh, like I feel like I would literally die um, if if there was something around my neck. I'd be like, ah, oh, please get it off. Even turtlenecks was very suffocating for me. I couldn't do it. Because it's like itchy, right? Like that's how I feel when my like my shirt rides up too high. I'm just like, eh, eh. Yeah. yeah. For me, like wearing dress shirts, I don't like to button up the top one because it oh, feels yeah, so yeah, constricting. Yeah. That's um, interesting because I don't mind I buttoning that top button. I only button up for a tie. Yeah, yeah. 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 Not by rare, itself. Rare occasions, but like even then, sometimes I'll just undo the top button and let the tie be a little looser. Hi, beast. You've never done anything that you were like that was oh, stupid. Honey, I was gonna get okay, to yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> some of your dumb purchases, Hi, Brandon. Rap. Puka shells. Remember when puka shells? Oh, were oh my god. Why you a bro? <laughs> Brandon, you were puka shells in high school. school? In like freshman high school, we're like puka shells. You know, like, I would love to see a picture uh, of that. It's like a, I don't want to call it Hawaiian, but it's like kind of like Islander looking, like um, those tiny little shells and like it's like, like, like oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. got you. Yeah. Most like least Hawaiian shit that you could Jesus. Do. I'm yeah, just no, imagining Detroit with puka shells and like a pink with a that with a pink like button up yeah. with like the collar yeah. up, fucking uh, fireball like spike up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking college bro Brandon. <laughs> I have shoes made out of cork. My Air Max 90s. Oh. Wait, oh. how do they stay together? They're just made out of cork. Wow, is I thought the, they would just the, go... Is the whole sole made out of cork? Or is no, the like... whole shoe is made out of cork. Wow. The, sole, the sole isn't. Is it comfortable? <laughs> it's comfortable, it squeaks. So it's more of like a... It's more of like an art piece, I guess. It's not not like... It's... it's like it doesn't work like a shoe. How much do those cost though? Hundred something. Oh, that's not too bad. I thought it was for gonna retail. Be... Got it for retail. Okay. If it was gonna be that's like, why I don't, I don't buy stuff like resale anymore. Like if I could get something cool for retail, I'll get it. But back then in high school, I'd buy like every week. All my all my paychecks as a oh cashier at an Asian supermarket was going to Jordans. I would go to the mall at six a.m. wait in line. To Holy buy shit, you're one of those. <laughs> and I sold them all. That makes sense. Yeah, it's, that was where you. It was like your stock portfolio was just sneakers. <laughs> probably sneakers is probably like the most ridiculous stuff. I still have a few pairs I have never worn in my life. Mm, mm. Where I feel like I feel like a majority of my friends have shoes. They have like they're like oh I go through like one to two pairs a year. I just wear those like every day. Yeah. I feel like I buy like three or four pairs of shoes at a time because I'm like, oh, I like the idea of these four shoes or whatever. But then I'll wear all of them and I'll figure out which one I end up liking and I wear that one the most. Like you, I'm wearing those uh, those Air Max 90s you got me. Yeah, those ones are the ones that I wear most frequently. Yeah. Well, don't they so. say like that's the way to actually make your shoes last longer is if you cycle them? Yeah, so that makes sense. That way yeah. it's like they kind of have time to like decompress oh, between oh. use. 
Because oh. I know like Casey Neistat, that's why like, he buys like oh. four or five pairs at a time. Because it says like he'll basically run and then uh, like he'll swap it out. So basically it'll give it like a week so it actually like decompresses and it extends that's, the life of their shit. But that's also because he's running though, right? Yeah. That's a different yeah. kind of pressure than just an everyday walking. It's also well, Casey yeah. Neistat. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, dude, like... that dude has some interesting <laughs> habits. <laughs> it's like showing like his like 600 cameras that he's like, I threw this off a building and it doesn't work anymore. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> I broke my MacBook, but I got another one now. Yeah, can you believe I had to wait an hour? <laughs> he stocks, he's the only person that I know that stockpiles cameras. <laughs> and, like, God, right? Uh, and fucking um, like laptops. Isn't in LA now? Yeah, yeah, he moved to LA. Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. oh, I thought he was always in LA. Yeah, me too. Where was he originally? He was in New York. That was his oh, thing. New York. New York. New York. Oh, yeah. My friend actually worked across the street from his office. Oh, that yeah. must have been a mess. Yeah. <laughs> People showing up all the time and stuff, yeah. He's riding his bike through traffic, getting hit. Or his, no, he's riding his boosted board. That's his, right. that's, that's his thing, it's the electric electric skateboard. Yeah. Can't do that, well, he can do that in LA. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of dicey. LA. Yeah, that's You're gonna end up looking like me. <laughs> oh no, oh, he said yeah, it. He said it. That in a later video, so stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. We can rebuild him. <laughs> <laughs> we have the technology. <laughs> Wait, so does that still happen here? Because I like the whole people showing up outside. Because I remember back in the day, people used to show up to this office a lot. Like mm -hmm. we'd be here working, and like literally, I remember there was one time. Someone just came, knocked on the door, and it was just like just a dad and his kid, oh, yeah. and they were just yes. kind of just standing there. Ooh. Yeah, that's really weird. Don't I know, do that. I know. I think JK yelled at enough people where people. Don't come. I think they they had a news session where there was this like uh, yeah parent and their kid or whatever, and they like came while they were filming, and then was like, hey, we just wanted to say hi, and they're like, okay, well, we're you know kind of filming right now. I tried yeah. to be nice, and they were like, well, can she just like say hi because like I'm I'm here, and they were like, no, <laughs> this is not a meetup. Yeah. So don't do that. Don't don't go to people's places yeah. of business and like just barge in because it's really rude and it's kind of scary especially if you don't know these people because yeah, actually working yeah you get all kinds of people that come through it's sort of like um, when philip defranco had some dude like randomly walk into his studio while he was filming wow. yeah, yeah. 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 while he was video. filming a pds yeah. he was like talking to the camera and then all of a sudden his door opened and then this dude came in and was like hi i just wanted to meet you he's like oh wow. i'm gonna die right now uh, you literally yeah. phil's right here the dude's off camera he's like hey how's it going yeah. Can, can I, do you, do you work here? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. I, I just walk outside know, like, real quick. However you guys find where our business is, <laughs> like. Don't give him ideas. No, because like there's one time this dude actually visited us at our new office and he was walking by and me and Gio were sitting outside. I was there too. Yeah, and like this dude was like, Whoa, no way, JK's here. <laughs> I just remember being like, oh my god. And I was like, how did he know where we are? And he was like, oh, and I was like, oh yeah, how'd you get in? Because it's kind of like a closed off yeah, area. It's yeah. way, way yeah. off. Yeah, and he was like, oh no, I just saw like a visitor's parking and a, a visitor's entrance. And I was like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And then and then he was like, yeah, I was, you know, I was just checking out the place, and then you guys just so happened to be here. I'm like, no one checks out our office. Yeah, no one. Yeah, because because it's literally just other, uh, like fashion companies and industrial companies yeah. and stuff that are in there. Like, and there's like, no reason for you to be there. You guys, like, I. <laughs> I like want to emphasize it's not that we don't want to meet yeah. you guys because we really do and that's why we have meet and greets. But when it's at our own business and it's during business hours, it's not polite yeah. and it's not. And it can be kind of scary. Yeah. Like it's do you don't yeah. know these people yeah. and they're just showing up and it's kind of like if someone like just showed up at your house. It was like, yeah. it was like I want to meet you. I'm like, no. Yeah. I mean, like, we, we honestly really appreciate all the love and the support yeah, that yeah, you guys like, give us. It's just that like we. There's a reason why we have meet and greets where it's like an area that we all feel safe. Sorry, a snack just fell. But like, it's an area where we all feel safe. And we're setting aside the time to like meet you guys. That way, like the interaction's better too. Like we have more time to like hang out and stuff. Like and we're not taken aback by like, oh, what the, there's yeah. suddenly so. someone. And then if we're working, we might not be like, in the zone to actually yeah. like be able to meet people mm -hmm. just because like we're so focused on trying to get certain tasks done that like if we forget to do it then we get in trouble you know so yeah. so That's please understand that mm. and yeah. see like at the same time i kind of don't knock them because like i feel like like it's weird because youtube has actually become yeah well we all know it's become like the new tv and stuff like that so yeah. like so when you think of it you or like i, I could see like from an audience point of view where it's the same as if you're watching, if you see like a movie or a TV show being filmed, where it's like to us, it's like, sure, this may be an office, but to them, these areas are a character in and of itself. Right. right. And so there, there is that disconnect. Of, I think that YouTube is nice because it is the most, I feel like the mo one of the most accessible forms of like media and entertainment. Yeah. So I get it. I just like, I feel like those boundaries need to kind of be like, hey, oh, it's, no, yeah, it's, like it's, it's, it's like, a developing thing that yeah. Yeah, definitely needs to be established. So, yeah. Because I think there, yeah, there's that overlap yeah. of TV. Because you think of like when TV, it's like, okay, you have the occasional actor like, oh, hey, how's it going? It's like they're working, but there's that second as opposed yeah. to the amount of self-contained and the amount of hats people are wearing where it's like, this is still an office place, yeah. as opposed to it being a set. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a good look. 
Yeah. Just like these headphones. <laughs> there you go. Bringing it back. Yeah. Segway! That's pretty good. That is why he's our Donald Glover. Yeah.